This video is dedicated to Arturo. We're going to show you real quickly how to program in a long range, super long range, power G, panic, pendant panic, or wrist panic button into the Qualysys IQ Panel 2 Plus. It will also work with the IQ Panel 4. So if you're replacing a sensor or adding a new sensor, you really want to go in and remove the old sensor first if it's no longer working. Hit your toggle at the very top, go to settings, go to Enter advanced settings. If you have a good security company like us, you will know your installer code. Put your installer code in, then hit installation, devices, security sensors, you can add, edit, delete a sensor. In this instance, we're gonna take out the old panic button. There it is. And we're gonna delete it. Okay, so that is that simple to delete a sensor. We just check, mark a box, and then hit delete. Now, let's say we're going to add a sensor back and I'm gonna start back over just for the purposes of the video, okay? So go to the toggle in the top middle of the screen, hit settings. Hit advanced Enter settings. User code. You will need the installer code at this point. There's the installer code. We're going to go to installation and then we're going to go to devices. Now again, this is a security sensor. It is the one we're putting in now is a power G panic button. Let me turn it over the other way. Power G panic button. This is, this is a super long range panic button. We're going to auto learn the sensor in. Then we depress the button. Sometimes it takes once or twice to go in. That's simple when it starts blinking, you let it go. It's requesting to be added. You wanna hit okay. Now, this is going to be a panic button for us. Drop down, change it to panic, and I hit add new. We just added this sensor into the system. And it sensor will, added successfully. It will even tell us that it's added in. Now we're gonna show you real quickly how this little unit needs to be installed. And it comes with this small base plate, which will allow you to mount it on wood, under a counter, under a table, vertical on a wall, behind a bed post, anything that's wood that you can screw it into. So what there are, there are two screw holes. You'll need small screws like so. And try this again. Each screw will go in a small hole like this. You find a vertical wood face or underneath wood face, screw both of those in. Once it's screwed into the wall, we're gonna simulate this here. Once it's screwed into the wall, then the pendant piece literally slips directly into the top or clips in either way from the side. As you can tell, the little bottom piece, it fits right in there. It fits very securely. So this is, this is what it looks like when it's been mounted to a wood surface. And you literally can take the pendant, little clip at the bottom, that fits right in there too, and it literally clips right in. Now you have a panic button attached to any wood surface, vertical surface, underneath a table, however you need to attach it. And then to take it back out again, you literally can just grab the corners, pop right out of there, and if you wanna put it onto your pendant, you can put it, I mean, onto your uh, watch or your pendant you wear around your neck, it comes out that easily. When you're done, you can come back home, put it beside behind your bed stand and mount it just to the wall or just to the wood like that. Easiest path.